What's going on, everybody? Ed back with Silver Sport, and we got Chuck on the line. Hey, everybody, what do you say? What do you know? Ed's back on his bull pucky, <laughs> and I got nothing to do, so take it away, buddy. Yeah, so it's kind of like Chuck with Sumo. My family likes to open Disney cards. We just like Disney, you know, in my house. Uh, so I bought a whole case of these this time. And we sat down and opened three of these booster boxes. One for me, one for Brandon, and one for my wife. We all opened them. Spent like an hour opening them, price checking them, looking at them all. Uh, this is the new Ursula's Return. Uh, and it is a full booster box. 24 packs with 12 cards per pack. Uh, the only out of the first box, the problem with this one, I felt like there was more valuable cards in the first uh, couple iterations of this that we opened up. But this one, basically, you're looking for the full art uh, cards or Enchanted. Um, this one we pulled out, and Brandon, of course, pulled. The other two boxes, we didn't pull any of these Enchanted cards out of. Uh, but that card is worth about $111. I'll bring it up here and let you guys see it. So this is TCG Player, kind of the values. Uh, and I think this is the card right here. Uh, we don't talk about Bruno. It's the one that Why Brandon not? pulled. What did Bruno do? I don't know, but Brandon pulled it. So that paid for Brandon's whole box. He's the only one that paid for his box. Through me, and, me and my wife both uh, did not. <laughs> so, well, we did. Just the card. We didn't pull any cards that did. So, uh, but you can get up to a $300 card. It looks like Ariel uh, and then Diablo are the, are the top two uh, cards here. And it looks like mostly you need something that's secret rare or whatever they call it in disney right uh that's numbered over the base set so like this 216 out of 204 so you need anything like number 205 or higher so but you'll know them right when you see them they're all the fancy cards um how much did you pay for a case man uh it was like it was like 500 dollars. i think i paid like it was close to 120 bucks a box i could have pre-ordered it for like 90 like a week earlier and i was like oh, i'll just wait you know, and then I waited, and then I paid thirty dollars more a box or whatever. Um, but you know how I am; I'm a degenerate, Chuck. So we opened one box this before. We opened one box after that. I bought another box, ordered another box. I'm like, this time, let's just get the whole case out of the way. We'll rip three of them and rip one on the video. So here we are. So anyway, so that's a uh, hundred, right. ten, hundred twenty bucks. So it's about four bucks a pack, Chuck. Uh, the last time you and I ripped this. Uh, we were at the card show up there at Del Mar, and and Greg, I think, bought you a couple packs uh, for like seven dollars yeah. a pack, and then you pulled a nice card that uh, the dealer kind of duped you for, and <laughs> to, and, and traded yeah. you a couple more packs for. So I think it was like a fifty dollar. Yeah, sure. It was an right, Ursula or something. A, I'll, t I'll take a four dollar pack. All right, four dollar pack. Uh, let's see, it's twenty four. How do we do this? I guess I got to do a wheel, huh? Yeah. So you don't scam me again, whatnot, Eddie. Oh, look. Uh, now I got to go number this. I'm just saying. Oh. What are you talking about? Oh, my God. Just just pull a random pack out of there for me. This is taking too long. For <laughs> All right, Chuck. I'll do it. I'll Jesus let you pick murky. out of the stack. I'll let you pick out of the stack. Here we go. No, just, I don't even care. Just reach in there and yank a pack out. Just All right. Just move it. All right, all right, Chuck. Jeez. Look at you. Now you're all now you're trying to go too fast. Opening the box backwards. You don't even know what you're doing. Look at you. Look at that. It's pretty fancy. I was thinking I should have done. There you go, Chuck. There's your pack. Well, right on top. Pack. Oh. <laughs> all right, Chuck. Never mind. There's your pack. I don't Let want me set the bottom that. pack either. Let I me set that one little. aside. So. I know. <laughs> all right, Chuck. I'm gonna set both of those aside, <laughs> just so you know that you you uh got rid of one. <laughs> those packs matter of fact let's open those first to see what chuck would have got Holy crap how many packs are there uh there's 24 packs chuck and we're gonna start oh, with sweet. these two that you turned Jesus. down Jesus. <laughs> he gone <laughs> so we'll go through them pretty quick though uh so they're basically just like pokemon where you got all your your regular cards here your common cards in the front and then you get this is a little less common prince eric uh ursula's plan and then that's ursula's supposed to be a little plan more rare. B. yeah and then that i think that is supposed to be more rare and i usually keep anything that's, prince philip that's... isn't he the one that would diddle the kids on epstein's island oh geez chuck oh what is that oh okay oh lumiere 
uh, I thought that was a that's uh, that was another thing. I all of the cards have this on the back, and it like makes a big picture if you put them all together. So oh, I kept did you a, put them all together. I kept a bunch of those to see if I to see if I could right. So oh, well, let's put that together. You might as well watch you do the pass while you're at it. Put a live cam on your front lawn. We can watch the grass grow. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Chuck! Fly you halfway know, around the world for vacation. You got me wasting thirty minutes of it of doing this. Oh, uh, here, here's the deal, Chuck. You were at a Pokemon store yesterday. Did you buy some Pokemon? You could be. We could be flip this around and be open a Pokemon right now. Oh no, I didn't. But maybe I should go do that today. Oh, oh, that's one of the big ones, actually. Uh, oh, Saisu. That was out of my pack. Uh, that is. It was. It was out of the pack that you passed on, Chuck. Hold on, there was there was only a few cards that were worth money uh, that weren't over 204, and I thought that was one of them. Oh, 215 of 204? Uh, no, it's 125 of 204, and it looks like it's oh, worth no, 18, worth 18.98. So you would have doubled your money on that. That's a what not Eddie math right there. Four dollar pack. Oh, you'd have quadrupled your money. You would have doubled your money. You'd have quadrupled your money anyway. You screwed that up. <laughs> so <laughs> I tried to give it to you right off the top, Pico. Uh, yeah. So here we go. We still got Chuck's pack up there. Again, I pulled one full art out of a whole case. So I'm hoping that there's two per case, and this box has one in it as well. And if it has this plus that, this might be the best box of them all. So yeah, you there's definitely need to. Did you see any good Pokemon stuff over there, Chuck, to buy? Like, these big booster boxes? You might let me know next time you go there. Um, I, know that, I know the conversion rate's real good. Might be better to I'll buy a whole case of it. <laughs> you can yeah. bring it back to me. <laughs> oh, there's they another side so suit. They had a big whole wall of, uh, of, you know, Pokemon game, you know, packs and booster box, you know, little, but they, there wasn't like a box. It was just like, you know, a little, hmm. like, playing card box. Oh, oh, not like this? Playing card box? Yeah. Yeah. You know, like you get a pack of bicycle cards, you know, playing cards. Uh huh. It's pretty cool. It was like a bunch of those boxes hanging on a wall, big whole wall of them. Oh, okay. They didn't have any actual, like, packs of Pokemon cards. Well, yeah, like, they had like, packs, and then the, the, the boxes, they had loose packs, and then the boxes were just like, you know, like little booster boxes. Yeah. It wasn't like a box like this with 24 packs in it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, however, on my walk this morning, I stopped in Seven Eleven to get a uh, something to drink, and they did have Pokemon cards on the counter there for like a hundred and forty yen a pack. That's oh. less than a buck. Oh. Should have just bought them all. Uh, less than a buck. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool, right? I wonder if they're you know they're they're different than the ones we buy here. They gotta I'm be, guessing right? they're not written in English. Yeah. For starters. Yeah, that might be true. So that ought to make it fun for us to open. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you'd think everything we open isn't written in, in English. <laughs> I know, the way we'd be reading stuff. Yeah. Avalanche. Li Shang. Saizu again. Got all the Saizus. This is the Saizu hotbox. Gaston. Anna. And Can you pull jump. autographs out of this? Uh, no, Chuck. I don't think. Well, no. I mean, you've seen some of that goofy Disney. They put out there like a Mickey Mouse autograph and a, a Donald Duck autograph. Like, who the hell's signing it? And people are like eating it up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Uh, I don't know. So my question wasn't that far off base. Uh, my thing is, is you post it up and you display it in your room. And when they say who signed that, you say Mickey Mouse did. Who do you think? <laughs> I'd post it and keep it in my box right back there. <laughs> Tell me you didn't. Prove you didn't. <laughs> Triton. Treasures Untold. And a Magic Broom. And an Avalanche is going to be my, my hollow. How, I see you separating these. How are you separating them? How do you know what's what? Well, if they're shiny or more rare, I'm putting them in the top stack like I would rookies. So I know what's what. How do you know more rare? based off of this little emblem down here in the center just like you do pokemon so that little circle means common 
Uh, and I don't know the exact terminology, but that little circle means common. That means uh, a little less common. That's oh, what it man. means. Yeah. Come, yeah. On, come on, all you Disney high dollar collectors. Just flame spray them in the comments. Yeah, and then I think that's rare. Uh, and then that, Diablo is the big one. Another good one. Uh, that is like uh, super rare. I think that little box or bowl or whatever it is, the gold, golden thing. <laughs> Just flame spray him in the comments. Drag him through <laughs> Twitter, too. <laughs> you know, hey, look. <laughs> it is what it is. Go ahead. I, I have nothing to be ashamed of. I'm not a Disney what expert. Is Diablo? Uh, that one is going to be Diablo numbered 70 of 204. And I got it right over here, I think. Uh, $10? Uh, that is $52. Where are you seeing fifty-two dollars? I'm seeing them for ten dollars and eight cents. TCG Brothers. So here it is, or not TCG Brothers, TCG uh, Player. And then there's there it is right there, fifty dollars for that. Oh no, that's Ariel's Grotto. Diablo, sorry, fifty-two dollars right above it. Fifty-two dollars. Oh, yeah. oh, ninety-one dollars, eight bids on June fifth. Oh, that might be a different one though. That might be the shiny one. This one is not. Hollow. No, this is 70 of 2204, Ursula's Return non-foil. Oh, and it was $90? Sold for $91. There you go. Can you see that? Oh, no, but I take your word for it. I like it. So, yeah. so, so far, this box has paid for itself, and we still got two-thirds of the packs to go. Oh, I mean, Or pretty close. Like, there's a $20 card and a $50 to a $90 card. I mean, if that card was worth $90, it's, 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 uh... You're good, right? But I think it's TCG showing fifty, so I don't know what the best. I don't know what the best. Uh, well, who are you gonna believe, TCG or Chuck? Uh, Chuck for sure. There you go, buddy. Right. <laughs> Especially when it gives me the number I like better. <laughs> <laughs> what were you looking on? eBay sold. Yeah, eBay sold items. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that and that makes sense too. Uh, I. Flounder, I would definitely trust. Uh, that's a cool looking card. I like the art. Uh, it would definitely look. I'd definitely take oh, eBay's. Oh my word. bad, that was for two of them. <laughs> there it goes. What are you gonna believe, Chuck or TCG? Well, there you go. <laughs> that was for two of them. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds legit. And another Diablo, but this is a common hollow. That don't even look like Diablo. No, it doesn't. Uh, Misprint. Air eBay one hundred and one. Miss Print. Uh, but this stuff is pretty cool, man. I, I I've been enjoying it. I need to get some Pokemon. So, oh, that's only one third of the box, Chuck. Like, just keep talking. Find something to do, Chuck. Like, you get all mad when I do this on your sumo reps. I'm gonna need you to be engaged. Oh, you should have asked me if I started to record yet, because last time we did something like this. Oh yeah, just start to record. Here, I found something to do. I'll take a nap. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there he is. Chuck in his natural now, habitat. I'm ready for Lord <laughs> Now I'm ready for Lord Kama. Uh, Chuck in his natural habitat. I love it. Olaf. <laughs> oh, geez. How many chins you got there, Chuck? We talked about this last time, I think. <laughs> you're, not, you're not flattering yourself there. <laughs> oh, record player. Good job. Yep. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> John Silver. Oh, Triton. Another one. Legendary. I think that's legendary. I think that's what it is, right? And Jonah. That Triton. Is that another one? That's 158 out of 204. I don't know. We'll put that up there. I'll have to check that price. Higher than 204. Yeah, but a few of them stood out to me. And I thought Triton was one of them that was like one of the higher. One of the higher ones you wanted. Okay, so we don't talk about Bruno received widespread acclaim from music and film critics. Its genre blending composition and mysterious topic were often praised. Uh, still don't tell me what. I still don't know what you Bruno. just said. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm, tr- I'm trying to be engaged, man. I'm trying yeah, to yeah. do something. No, I like it. I still don't know what you said, though. Like, <laughs> Can we just go back to talking about the seventh floor crew? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. That's not appropriate for, for Lorcana videos, Chuck. <laughs> Ursula's <laughs> lair. Well, neither is Prince Philip, and he's all no over way. this thing. And Mer- 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 Megara. <laughs> Prince Philip. <laughs> is that what I think? <laughs> Am I telling any untruth? Is that what it's called, a Prince Philip? Or is it a Prince Henry or something? I know what you're talking about, but I don't remember what prince they called it. <laughs> yeah, no. It's, uh, isn't it Prince Philip? I didn't do the one that was... Oh, no, that was Prince Andrew. My bad, Prince Philip. <laughs> Rapunzel. Uh, Pete. Born to cheat. Look at there. Chuck. Looks like Chuck, Chuck right there. Like he was Eddie. just laying on that What's bed. Not Eddie? <laughs> and flotsam and jetsam on the on the hollow parallel there. Did you get in the cards to put the picture together yet? Uh, I'm sure I did, but we already know how I am, Chuck. Now you would put the picture together because you're like the set collector guy with patience and all that yep. good stuff. I am not that guy. I'll just I'll look at it. I'll put them in a pile. Think about it. And then eventually, when I get tired of looking at the pile, I'll throw them away. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, I just, I just, just don't have the time or patience. Can you put patience. together a set of this? I mean, is there two hundred and four cards? Is that what the two hundred and four is? So I, I bet you could. Yeah, that's the two hundred and four card base set. Yeah. But then you so, got the shiny, the foil, the, the, the full fo- card art, the hollow. Right. Oh, hollow foil is what they're calling the the uh, oh. shimmy shiny one in the back. Or no, hollow foil is the full art cards. Uh, and then, oh, let me look right here on TCG. I can tell you what that. It's normal or cold foil. So the one with just a little bit of hollow in the back is called a cold foil. But we are cold looking for foil. Yeah. But we are looking for uh, Ursula's Garden, not that. We we're looking Ursula's for a full garden. art. Ooh. <laughs> and garden. first aid with the cold foil. See? Cold, that's cold foil? Yeah. You know, uh, it's just like, uh, you know, hollow and prism and uh, refractor shiny. <laughs> like, All right, talk, talk and look, talk and look, buddy. <laughs> one of these card companies just come out and just name their silver card shiny. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, <laughs> shiny, not shiny, and extra shiny. Right, right. And shiny with a little mosaic pattern in the back. There's Bell and a Jetsam. I got the Flotsam and Jetsam, and now I got the Jetsam. Now I just need the Flotsam. Who's Flotsam and Jetsam? I don't know. Come on, man. I was supposed to be a Disney fan, right? Heck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they look like they're they look like they're out of uh, an undersea movie for sure. Flotsam is defined as debris in the water that was not deliberately thrown overboard, often as a result from a ship shipwreck. Oh. Shouldn't that have been on your East Was test or something? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think so, Chuck. <laughs> oh, there's another Saizu. How many of these sizes? Oh, but that's not like a rare one, I don't think. We'll put it up there anyway uh, so I can Jetsum check the price Jetsum is on. described as debris that was deliberately thrown overboard by a crew of a ship in distress, most often to lighten the ship's load. Or, or yeah, when we throw stuff over the side of the ship, it's called jettison, right? You jettison stuff over the side of the ship. And the funny thing is they use that term now, whether it's an emergency or not, right? Like, jet- anything you throw over the side of the ship, you are jettisoning over the side of the ship. Oh, Minnie Mouse. Oh, look at that. And... Floatsum and Jetsum is an American thrash metal band formed in Phoenix, Arizona in 1981. Oh, there you go. Yeah. You got oh. anything you got anything good? Uh, the band ahead existed under three different names, Paradox, Dreadlocks with an X, and Dogs with a Z. Apparently none of those first three names uh, brought them any attention, so they decided to go with Flotsam and Jetsum. I don't know. Ariel's they Grotto. are also notable for featuring then unknown Jason Newstead, who was oh. Flotsam and Jetsam bassist from 1981 to 1986 when he left the band shortly after the release of their debut album to join 
Who? I don't know. He's still unknown to me. <laughs> Metallica. Oh, there you go. That's pretty good. Still unknown to you? No, nope, now he's known. How about that? I we mean, still don't he's know not who they are from Disney. Oh, yeah, right. It's, apparently, it's from The Little Mermaid. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, Undersea. Secondary antagonists in Disney's 1989 animated feature, The Little Mermaid. They were moray eels that served as minions to Ursula the Sea Bit Witch. Oh, the sea what? Chuck? <laughs> the Sea Witch. <laughs> I stopped uh, myself. There was almost a slip there. <laughs> Peter Pan. Oh, Yen Sid, uh, legendary. Check that one. And then a record player, cold foil. And another Ursula. Record player. I got two more of my packs and then one of Chuck's for his $4 holler. How about that? The basis for Metallica was originally in Floatsome and Jetsome. And we six degrees of Kevin Baconed it back to a Disney Lorcana card. How do you like that, Chuck? <laughs> <laughs> Only on Silver Sport will you get that. <laughs> There's your thumbnail, buddy. Metallica and Disney Lorcana? Question mark. Uh, oh, there's an Ariel. That might be a good one. And Flynn Rider on the cold foil. Also my Flo Rida. Flo Rida. Yeah. So... I need this to be the big shiny one. If not, it's gonna be. Or else it means. Why don't open it? Don't open it. What? Stop. What? So then, do you want to buy my pack back? Oh. <laughs> well, I'm not guaranteed a big shiny one, Chuck. So there might not be one in this box. You got that right. Unlike me, I'm. You guaranteed a big shiny <laughs> one with me. <laughs> okay. You so buy what that do you pack back? Uh, what did you pay? Four dollars? Yep. I'll give you five dollars for it. Thirty-five. <laughs> uh, I'll give you five dollars for it. There could be a hundred dollar shiny card in there, buddy. There could be. The chances are slim, though. All right, make it ten, and you got a deal. <laughs> uh, I'll make it seven. Oh, nine fifty. Final. That's a offer. three. That's a three dollar profit for you. And stop making change, Chuck. You know you ain't got your notebook with you. <laughs> <laughs> Ten dollars. Ten dollars, and it's yours. Uh, uh, I will double your money at eight. Final offer. You made four dollars off of just sitting in this Lorcana rip with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But you got to make a decision in the next five seconds. One. Throw a dice. If it's Two. odds, the deal's good. If it's evens, the deal's off. It's evens. God dog it. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the deal's off. That's All what right. you get for leaving your 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 your. Uh... That's the universe telling me I'm getting a shiny. Go bang your Bruno or whatever. <laughs> go bang. <laughs> Chuck. We don't talk about Bruno, Chuck. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh... Hercules. And the dragon. Here comes Chuck's pack. Should have right, sold it back to me. Could have made four dollars off of this. Could have made four. Let's see what he's got. Oh, common, 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 common. Not common. Less common. One last hope. <laughs> Mystical Rose. Oh, and you got a legendary hollow. Piglet. Yep. Uh, or cold foil, sorry. Legendary cold foil piglet. That is numbered 191. I don't know if he's worth anything. Oh, 191. Uh, let me put him on cold foil. Hold on. Oh, look at that. 191 foil sold 26.99. Oh, dang it, Chuck. <laughs> Look at you. You don't even like Disney. <laughs> the deal's still on. Ten dollars and it's yours. One ninety what is it? One ninety one ninety one? Uh I see five five eighty nine on TCG player. Yeah. But what's that? Is that the one? Disney Ursula's return piglet sturdy swordsman foil. Yep. Twenty six ninety nine. That definitely looks right. 
TCG player is wrong. So Chuck wins. And you got two other rares uh, in these. Oh, see? So there you go. You should have sold the pack. You should have taken it for $10. <laughs> I probably should have. Uh, but Sell you know, it back to you for $10. <laughs> it only says five eighty nine on on TCG player, Chuck. You're trying to pencil with me and whatnot me. Hold on, let me get you a sticker. <laughs> I got one right over here just for you, Chuck. <laughs> anyway, well, I guess I we're got all some done. More cards. Chuck, Chuck wins. Thanks, everybody. Chuck didn't want it, and see what happens. See, that's how it goes. The, the real reverse psychosis is Chuck winning on Disney. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for joining us. We will see you next time. Thanks, everybody. And we're out.